Hey doers, it's Duane, and I hope that you had an amazing week. I myself had the flu for five days, and uh, that stunk, <laughs> but being in bed for the majority of that time, I noticed something very important about myself. When I was laying there trying to get better, my brain was constantly on, like, you need to write that email, you need to shoot this, you need to do that, you need to whatever, constantly going, stressing me out, and also beating myself up that I, can't, I couldn't do those things. It made me realize that I don't have a lot of balance in my life and that I definitely put work. Any type of work that I'm doing, I always put it first and there's such an imbalance. So this video are tips that I'm going to do to help myself and you if you need to slow the heck down as well. I believe that we all feel much more balanced and grateful. So come along. So the first tip is that you need to single task. So whatever it is you're doing, be present in what you're doing. For example, make yourself a healthy meal at home and take that as me time. Like I'm gonna cook myself a nice healthy meal. I'm going to chop these cucumbers and just chop these cucumbers and not let my mind go crazy. When I slice these tomatoes, I'm going to slice these tomatoes. So I personally love HelloFresh because it gives you the perfect amount of ingredients for each meal. So I just love the sustainability aspect of it. Nothing is wasted. And then you're also learning new recipes, the ingredients, and then how to make everything. If you're interested in HelloFresh, there's a link in the description and they're doing this whole New Year's promo where you get 10 free meals your first month of HelloFresh. So I did vegetarian for this one, so there's no meat. Um, I got butternut squash and sage risotto, got hoisin sesame roasted veggie bowl, as well as chickpea powered Mediterranean couscous, which I think that sounds the loveliest. I'm going to make that right now. So yeah, let's make it. It's so simple, I feel, I don't know, I just feel like relaxed and at ease. Um, just the simple thing of just making myself dinner, I'm to just drop some tomato on my lap. And uh, I feel grateful that I get to enjoy this meal that I made at home with some nice tea and with my doggo. Mm. Oh my. Mm -hmm. A 
another tip that I'm stealing from Craig. Craig has been waking up 30 minutes before he normally wakes up just so that he can like have more time in the morning for himself. This also means to disconnect. So do not look at your phone the moment you wake up. Have those 30 minutes in the morning to just like do some stretches, make your coffee, make your breakfast in peace without rushing. I feel like that's the perfect way to start your day. Another tip is to also find more pleasure outside. I'm going to make it a point to take a little stroll, a 20 minute stroll every night after dinner. Uh, not only to help with digestion, because that is wonderful, um, but to just disconnect as well, not bring my phone with me. Um, look at the time, like, oh, it's 7.30 right now. I'm going to take a stroll in the neighborhood and come back, uh, not anytime before 7.50. To have that time to just like, Take it in, look around, look at the trees, look at the people walking by. I did it a couple times last week, or not last week because I was sick, but two weeks ago, and it was so, so nice. Um, I want to incorporate that every single evening. Also, if your city has some snow, go play in the snow, gosh darn it, go play! Another tip is to invite some friends over for a nice homemade meal. And while you're doing so, eat slower so you're being present, you're taking in all the yummy foods that you just made, you're focusing on the people that you're surrounded with, the people that you invited over, just being in their presence and talking to them and conversing with them and learning more about each other in a, a nice, lovely home setting with some nice home-cooked food. And last but not least is to breathe. So on the count of three, let's take a deep breath together. Ready? One, two, three. So I hope that you incorporate some of these things into your life. I think honestly we all need to slow the heck down a little bit more every day. Um, yeah, so that we just like are more grateful and are more present. Um, it just helps us. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also leave in the comments if you have any other suggestions uh, how we can slow the heck down. Uh, yeah, I love you, I love you and I will see you next week.